Hey, what's up guys? Going to do a new Zippo trick. Yeah, I know, it's been forever. Here's my Marlboro Eat, Ride, and Sleep Zippo. It's what I probably use the most. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people ask me about this Zippo. It's not something you're ever able to buy if you were into uh, the Marlboro Miles, like if you smoked Marlboro cigarettes, which I didn't, but I had a friend who worked in a bar, so she constantly had Marlboro pack, you know, the little mile packs and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, it was a promotional thing. You sent in some ridiculous amount, maybe 5,000 miles, and uh, you got this lighter. So they do pop up on eBay, though. If you are interested in this one, it's brass, and it just says Eat, Ride, Sleep. It's kind of a trucker-style Zippo. Uh, gold dust finish on it. Um, yeah, they pop up on eBay every now and then, but there was no place you can actually ever buy these. And this one was made in 2004. Uh, it's a B, so that's February 2004. So this this lighter is now what seven years old this month. Anyway, uh, gonna show you a, a Zippo trick. Uh, you guys know the deal with the names. I don't always use the actual official names that are used widely among the Zippo trick community. I name them basically whatever is most common sense to me to make it easier for people to to look them up and stuff. Uh, this this specific trick has a whole bunch of names, uh, but I'm gonna call it Pistol Grip just because it's the most easy way to remember it. But anyway, first here's how the uh, the trick looks. It's very very simple to do. Um, a lot of people call it Quick Draw, Fast Draw. Uh, Old West, I, I've seen tons of names for it, but basically what you're doing here is you turn the lighter upside down, the hinge is going to be facing you, it's going to be put in the crest of your hand, right here, okay, hand wraps around it, you get a nice strong grip on here, now again, you don't want this really up here, you want it kind of tucked down, and the idea here is with your other hand, or off hand, you come in and you open the Zippo, and as your hand continues to you know, follow through the motion, your uh, your middle finger, ring finger, and pinky, one of those is going to come in contact with that wheel, and it's going to spark it as you as you continue to go forward. All right. Uh, the biggest tip I can give you with this trick is a lot of people start up up here, and they just hit it, and it, you know, never really works right. I mean, you can see sometimes you get lucky, but the biggest tip I can give you is when you're coming in to smack this open, come up on an angle like this. Start down here, and come up. If you do this, you have a better chance of grazing that spark wheel, you can see with your other fingers. Alright, and there it is. And of course you can just flick your wrist forward to shut it. It's very impressive, real quick, you know, just like that. And anyway, there it is. So it's a real impressive trick, it's very simple to do. Um, some word of caution here, doing this excessively will loosen your hinge, as do most Zippo tricks. Uh, Zippos are not meant to do these tricks, so you will wear down your Zippos uh, a lot faster doing this. Um, one potential problem with this trick, if you come in too shallow, you're going to just slam your fingers against that uh, very thin sheet metal on the, uh, the chimney there. So just be careful of that. If you come in too low, you're just going to rip your hand up. Uh, it's very thin and kind of sharp. So I would suggest, just like some other moves, start up high. You know, you can always work your way down until you get it, but don't start off too low, because if you come in too low, not only will you probably break your Zippo, but you're going to hurt yourself, so just be careful there. But, very cool move. But anyway, awesome move, very impressive, super easy to do. And that is the pistol grip. I thank you again for watching, as always. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and take care guys.